What's up guys and welcome to another episode of the Drift Games Vlog. We are here in Mondello Park with Club Loose for another Drift Games drive. We've got 75 drivers all having fun. The sun is shining, we don't have rain like the last day. So we're going to do the usual. We're going to walk around the pits, we're going to show you some of the cool cars around the place, we're going to catch up with some of the guys we haven't seen for a while and then we're going to watch a lot of people shred tyres. So it's going to be fun. So first of all, Ryan Morton is here wearing a maroon jumper. Ever since our cars are finished now, he just finds himself lost running around looking for stuff to do and... <laughs> Just meander around them. <laughs> so this is uh, Tomas Falvey's car. You guys have seen this before, but it's actually not being driven by Tomas Falvey today. Where's Tomas? There he is. I'm doing what I'm doing best, Dave. Eating chips. You know what? <laughs> and nailing it. <laughs> but you're not driving it today. Yeah, a I, little I, bit. I went out this morning. I did two laps, and we came back round, and my son was waiting for me. Kicked me out of the car and put me into this. So you got the smoke? Yeah. Good <laughs> luck. To be fair and honest. So what age, is your, probably, what age is your son? 13. So he's thir basically you've given a 650 horsepower pro yeah. car to your 13 year old yeah. son. And in Ireland, that's completely normal. <laughs> no one here is even that bad than Ireland. The sad part about it is you can drive it better than me. <laughs> it's a long road ahead of you now. <laughs> and you know what, Tomas? I, 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 I hate to say it, I thought it was you. That's how good he was, <laughs> to be fair. Well, Dave, you'll have to give me a I'm not going to say it. You got out of the car and said, geez, fam, he's supposed to be in the gym or something. <laughs> <laughs> We actually get a lot of requests for this car to check this out, which it's always moving, isn't it? That's the problem, it does too many laps. Where's, where's young Andy? He's in the van. He's definitely hit away now. Andy, he's like, call me when they go away with the car. Andy! <laughs> Andy, we never get to talk to you about this because you're always driving 72,000 laps around the track. And everyone keeps saying in the videos, I need to see more about this car. Small doses, Dave. Small, Small doses. doses. So this baby has been built for a long time. Yeah, probably a good two years. Two years. This is beautiful now, isn't it? Talk us through what we've got under here. Uh, we've got a speed tech intake, Garrett Turbo, fully fires, the engine from uh, Mike Dean. And I made about 705 at 1.2 bar boost. 705 horsepower. Yeah. So I love it. This is, I know there's a livery coming, yeah. but I love the fact that it looks like a road car. It's yeah, like well, the most aggressive road car I've ever yeah, seen. Yeah, I have a few sponsors to stick on it, so hopefully we get the livery in the next couple of weeks. And you've got a full Origin Labo kit on. This thing is beautiful inside. I like you put the number on the, the dials. Oh, yeah. That's very cool. So she's got a Samsonis gearbox. It has indeed, yeah. Samsonis and Winters <laughs> in the back then, and the radio and fuel cell right so in the she, back. Like this is a, this is very James Dean. This 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 area. He yeah, started well, this his trend. brother his yeah. brother gave me a good hand with this car in fairness to him. Uh, it is would have been lost without Mike, you know. She's going really good. Yeah, it's flying, flying. Like the first couple of days, few teething issues, but that's on. But there's the same with every car. Yeah. Josh will tell you all about that. <laughs> <laughs> we won't that was a di that was a dirty day. Bring, bring it up. Do you know what? It's a, just a beautiful car. Yeah, I was thinking about maybe getting the fat, uh, full back bumper for it. I don't know. Yeah, I haven't decided. Oh, oh Ryan, look Ryan, 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 he's on about getting a full back bumper. Ah, let's not do it. This this would be considered way too much bumper. For yeah, Ryan. yeah. He'd have a cut to about. I was gonna here, say just to about here on the crease. And you just have to just there. Put it on the crease. <laughs> <laughs> I think Ryan has lost a lot of back bumpers in his day. He's got a, he's got a phobia about it now. But it looks amazing. And we want to get a couple of shots of it yeah. later on. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous car. Thanks a million, lads. Appreciate it. Thanks, Andy. It. We have got boys from Murray Motorsport here. Niall back out. He hasn't been out in a while. Oh, it doesn't like he's having a good time. Oh, Niall. There's things on the ground. Things being fixed. I was just about to say, good to see Niall back out without any stress. All right, back to drifting again. Yeah, back a bit there. of stress. What's happened? Uh, I broke third gear. You broke third gear? Yeah. Hard man in the car. I know. <laughs> I, can't, I, mean, I can't blame anyone else, it was completely my own fault. So. No, I was just about to say, I was about to show around the car and I was going, this car is like, I would say probably the most aggressive. I'm going to go there and say, yours is pretty aggressive, but this is a very aggressive SR in this thing. Oh, this is way more aggressive So what, what power did this make? Uh, 6.11. 6.11 on an SR. Like, that's fairly hectic going. But it's a little ripper of a car. Yeah, no, it's going well now. It, it, the next here, so job, it, we're maxed out on the injectors. I don't want to strip um, it anymore. 750 injectors. The next job, bigger injectors. Um, get the nitrous working. We can't use nitrous because we've no more fuel to put in anyway. So, um, going to get the nitrous working, and Robbie reckons over 700 should be possible. My God. Don't you get ideas that you can barely handle the door? <laughs> you can't handle 500. Can't handle 500. <laughs> this is an amazing car. I was going to say, there's a couple of cars creeping about that are pretty special. It's nice to have and then there's just some lad on a spoiler. There he is. Oh, you travel, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, oh, hey, hang on a oh. second here. Mark Estate. Is that what you're looking for? I can't see anything else in this shot. <laughs> I was actually focused on something else. What, what engine is this? Just 
standard two liter. Standard yeah. two liter estate mark. <laughs> and she only flying. <laughs> she's she's, she's uh, a big girl. She's big old car. Are sticking her, so kind of slow it up a bit. <laughs> it's very cool. Something different. Exactly. Yeah. Where did you find this? I uh, had it in the scrapyard. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. It's, it now, was, it's now got a second life. Exactly. Yeah. I was in a ditch till last week, so we pulled it out. There you go. Out of the ditch, on, onto the track. Actually, looks pretty clean, to be yeah, fair. Exactly. Yeah. Well, best of luck. Have fun out there. Thanks. Set to the MX5 just for Josh's interest. We're keeping the dream alive. For sale. John? I've, I've got enough. I've got enough hardship with mine. This is uh, this is what well, this is the working model, is it? The one that actually drives around. Is that what it is? Oh, can you drive this one? Can you? On the road and everything. Does it like it moves for longer than ten seconds without causing massive amounts of pain and heartbreak? So well. I do really want one for the road. I make a replica of the drift car. You could make a replica of the drift car. Well, then you'd have to make it blow up every ten minutes. That would be hard to do. I'd say. Let's not do that. Okay. Sorry. Too much today. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. That's a pandemic. It's harshy up here. Answer me this in the comments below. Are cars now getting cooler? that you didn't think were cool before. Like, I never liked E30s. And now all of a sudden I like E30s. Maybe it's the pandemic, I'm not sure. But I think this looks lovely. I think this is a very nice one. Hello. The pandemic kit really works on them. It does. It's not a good sign when there's a full set of tires and... Let's hope that he's just arrived and that he's not going home. Let's hope. That's not how bad it is. We've got a battery powered car, electric. Must be. Yeah, Duracell Plus, that'll go all day. Who owns this one? This is the coolest car here. By a long shot, and I don't know why. <laughs> Every time I see it, I just go. That Everyone is. Loves an underdog. It's it's just, I don't know. It's like an old school. Like, it looks like an old school rally car drifting. It's very cool. It was cheap. <laughs> it was cheap. Two hundred quid. Two hundred euro. Yeah, yeah. Well, about eight years ago, when <laughs> no one wanted them. And you've made it worth about one hundred fifty euro in the least. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's at least sixty euros of petrol in it. You can part exchange it yet. Yeah. Yeah. Comes yeah. with a full tank. So this is a three series. No, E21. E21. Yeah. That's like predecessor to the E30. That's like early 80s or late 70s. 70, late 70s, 70, 77 to 84. Wow. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen another one drift in Ireland. And what engine is it? An M50 2 litre from an E34 5 series. Wow. This yeah. thing looks like it's a lot of fun to drive. It's crap. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's it, crap, but it's fun. Fun crap or yeah, just crap crap? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's scary. It's scary. Yeah. It's scary. Well, you're on suspension from 40 years ago. So yeah, yeah, yeah. To be fair, well, but it's E46 front coilovers and 6N2 polo rear coilovers. Polo rear coilovers. <laughs> yeah. And then there you go. Fa fair enough. Yeah. A classic conversion, that. apparently. Yeah. That's a very very interesting car. See Where's what? James Dean? <laughs> this man right here. James, how are you getting on? <laughs> so look, obviously you're a fighter. Back out again today. Yeah, Dialing in some good. settings. Yeah, trying anyway. Yeah. As I said, the great thing is that for Europe you need something with a bit of power. You have. I see you've gone back down to the 15s or 16s again. 16s, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So go gripping them. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Too much, I need a smaller one. You need a 15, that's what I say. I know. Maybe a 14. Yeah, but you're, up, you're the best in the world. Who am I to argue with you? <laughs> Thanks, dude. That car is very, very funny as well. So, what's the name of the car? Euroshite. The Euroshite. Well, I love that. Tell, look, look at that. You know where James says, You're a fighter. Yeah, it says Euroshite. Yeah, you're, you're a shiter. I love there, this. There you go. There, there's, there's someone having fun at no one's expense. Probably James Dean. <laughs> so, we've come to what I like to call the Pretty Avenue. Not pretty. JZX100, BMW, Lambo doors on the S14. How are the lads? Always with the Lambo doors. Like. They're the coolest thing ever. They are the coolest thing ever. They don't make any difference to anything. But they no, just look no. so cool. Add weight, man. It's easier to get on the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> it's easier to get out of the trailer. <laughs> so this thing is absolutely decked, as you can see. These three are all in one team. As you can tell by fitment, kits, low. Style. Style. Pure style. This one is very shiny. Very, very cool. But it can go wrong. <laughs> Things can go wrong. <laughs> this, is the, this is the bad side. Oh, this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. There we go. We never saw anything on the other side of the car at all. So you got like all S bodies, Corollas. This is kind of like people keeping the, I suppose the JDM flavor alive, which I really, really like. I'm a fan of that. So now we're going to go down to the pit lane where there's more cars and we're going to show you them. That's pretty much, there's not much more complication than that, is it Josh? It's simple. Because we've no spectators here, we like doing a little bit of a walk around for you guys because you go, you don't get to see the cool cars that are here, so we showed them to you on the video. But I would say very soon, I would say, they will be able to have spectators July? 
I think July we're, we might be able to have spectators back in. We'll, we'll double check on it. We want them here, obviously, but obviously with all the regulations and everything, we can't. And um, you probably wonder why me and Josh aren't drifting here today. I can't annoy Wayne anymore to get my car ready because he's he's just had too much work that he's had to do himself in his own garage. So I actually just took a break this weekend after BDC last weekend, and Josh's car much to everyone's surprise is still broken but we are going to fix it we're getting the engine rebuilt we're doing it all we're doing it properly we're putting bearings in it. it's going to be really good josh but it's just going to take a little bit of time it's going to take a bit of time which sometimes you can't rush these things otherwise they just break again and i don't think i can take that again i don't think your poor little heart can take any more heartbreak <laughs> on, on mx5 is breaking at this stage so we need to make sure it's 100 percent so we're going to do the engine the bearings and we are going to for once remap we've actually we, we've actually taken what people have said, the advice people have given, and we're doing that. That's but you, usually we ignore it. Oh, usually we go, that'll be grand. <laughs> but we, yeah, we need to skim an oil pump. Robbie and TDP is going to do that. We need to get an oil pump from Darren in Group D. We need to get some bearings, and we're going to put them into the engine. We're going to build the engine. Engine's going to be checked over. Everything's okay. Go back to the dyno. She'll be ready to go then. So that'll be in the next couple of episodes. And we will prove that the SR, that was just an unlucky time for the SR. The SR, the, the SR did, it was fine. It was the oil pump that went. The SR yeah. didn't break, so. It's, um, it's, it's given the SRs a bad name almost. We've got a man I was practicing with last week in the BBC, he's competing with, Matt Check. Let's just see. Having fun. Johnny Irwin's here in a car. At long last. This is at long last. We were waiting for this for like two years to be here at this stage. This is the car that I always want to come and look at, and by the time I do, you've broken something and you're done. <laughs> yeah, I, so I feel like you owed many hugs. Usually, I always come here before lunchtime because that's the good time to come. Yeah. Still going. But she's still going now? Still going. Flying. Yeah, going really well. Talk yeah. us a little bit through this because this is a this is a proper build now. Yeah. So I want I want a, like a sort of a top level. We've got a GT86. We've got a Rocket Bunny kit on it. It looks gorgeous on the outside, but what? Yeah. Um, so we'll start off in the front. It has um, Nissan RB25, uh, fully built with precision turbo and camshafts and stuff. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, yeah. um, oh lovely. A bit, a bit of purple and gold know, for you, yeah, Josh. I know, right? Um, Samsonis four-speed sequential. I think you have one the same thing, yeah. Yeah, the brilliant box. Best to work it in. Um, in the rear, it's still running the standard GD86 drift because I think there's a load of guys in Formula that actually use them as well. They're so. surprisingly strong for what they were built for. Yeah, rice fab front and back. Oh, look at this. Kevlar roof. Kevlar roof, yeah. We had to take the roof off to get the top of the cage welded. I so then that. it was just as cheap to put on a Kevlar roof. And just for you guys at home, if you don't know, Johnny's also been in the Fast and Furious live shows yeah. and all that stunt driving stuff, still yeah. doing that? Uh, yeah, there's things, new things happening now this year, so yeah, be excited to get back at it after this. So, comes from Corollas, becomes a stunt driver, has a cool GT86, <laughs> what a man. <laughs> Look, have fun Thank out there. Thank we'll you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, bit of me. Bit of me. I assume this one's working. Dirty D, but <laughs> Dirty D. I, why does, I've seen this in the last video, I don't know why all of a sudden I decided Soros and E36 were really cool, but I'm just loving Soros at the moment. And it's a bit of inspiration because, what, what's your name? Uh, Michael. Morris. Michael, you have a working one, which is something different than what we've been doing for the last while. Um, and you also have a 1J, I presume? Yeah. Yeah, so we have the V8, but you have the 1J. These are, these are getting cool, these cars. They look great on track. So this is like a full drift build cage. Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much, yeah. It's a road registered as well. It's actually vintage. Though. It's a vintage road registered drift caged sore. <laughs> it's everything I want. It's everything I want in life. <laughs> it's a really, really nice car. Hey, Hello, Lance. Like Japan just arrived. <laughs> Bro, let's, let's see you guys. How you get done? Look at, it's like, look, at the, look at the casual nature of this. Just, just chilling on the Corolla. Just here, you're supposed just, to be relaxed. Yeah, just relaxing. Up on the bonnet. Some, some lad somewhere else is polishing the bonnet of his car right now going, <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it, don't do it. Don't do it, don't do it. This awesome. one is made for drifting. Oh, yeah. And this is a 16 valve? 20 valve. 20 valve, which is better. Just so, I'm so jealous, I really am. 20 valve Corollas. Look at this. Adam O'Connor doing photo shoots on the track. There is now oh, two vlogging. Yes. We're vlogging the vlog. Yeah, Wait, hey, it's like Inception right now. Off. It's behind the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> we just said, where would you see two GT86s in the one pit area? Yeah, this was like a really cool kind of like brownie green. Really? It's a BMW color, Dave. Is that a BMW color? It's a BMW color, yeah. So we got an RB25 one, we've got a 2J one. And they both look gorgeous, to be fair. They're such a good looking car, aren't they, when you put the kit on them? It's a really good car. Amazing to think like GTA 6s were like such a, you'd never see one. And now we've got two of them here. Yeah, they're getting, they're getting not only just normal ones, but crazy good ones. It's very, very cool. 
Brady. Are we well? I'm not here to crash into you today, don't worry. This is actually looking really nice. This is the most the most amount of glitter that any man has ever put in the car. <laughs> Where the street is, there's 14 kilos of glitter on this car. <laughs> that much. Three bags. Three bags. <laughs> This is just all too much. Just all too much at times. It's oh. <laughs> <laughs> all too much, BMWs. We have Kevin Kendrigan and Mike. Look at it. In the one yard. Working. Working on the car. Both, are, are these both drifting? Yeah, yes. yes. Wash them Head got one lap in because you know oh, fuel yeah, pressure. Small little brown parts more of sure look. I washed the car last night and it uh, put a lot of water on the top of the head and the uh, bathrooms didn't work, so. It's a fix it <laughs> Like an old set of clothes. That's it. Just throw it on the line there, Ken. You're an old pool gel ring out, sir. <laughs> and Mikey's car is working? Phenomenal. Phenomenal. We did a second setup compared to the last day, now Kev did it for me, and. Yeah. Jeez, I it's so much fun to drive. Like, it's just I, fast so, and gritty. I was driving last week on the FDF stuff, and it is some job. Like, the FDF, set. I said it last night, FDF is cheap. Straight up. It's, it's actually, I thought Wise Fab was cheating. This is genuinely cheap. I think the lock is insane. And I can see that you've pushed the caster away for it as well, so the self steer is lovely on it. Like, it just, see, throw a camera in, like it's just, I'm not, I swear to God, I'm just like, I feel bored, like, nearly. <laughs> I need a bad beamer to yeah. bring my head to talent. You need to, you, yeah. I was going to say, you need bad cars to do more work, but <laughs> at least now you can actually drive it at a full command. Still has the stance on our mic. That's good to see everybody. It's a, two cars that have been a long way in the making. Long way. Ready, long way. ready to rock and roll. Like the, like the milky bar had, the red car, the blue car had raced. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, see you very much. Pretty much a walk around the paddock. We didn't get everybody, but we got kind of a feel. Didn't we? We got a feel of everything here. It's because we actually went through more cars. So nice as well. Yeah. Sunny. And this is the lunchtime part where nobody's drifting, everyone's just chilling out. So now I'm going to send you off, Josh, with your scaredy face. And you're going to jump in with people, you're going to do pasteurized, you're going to do onboards, you're going to get loads of action, we're going to get montages, we're going to have to crack. Sunshine and Mandela, it doesn't get better than this. What's up guys, I want to take a quick minute to thank one of our partners here at Drift Games, Mobile One Oil. We use Mobile One in all of our road cars and our drift cars. We want to protect our engines, so we use the very, very best. They're used by Formula One teams, rally teams, and every sort of motorsport team around the world, which means they're the best of the best for your car. So check out their full range at Mobile One. Okay, so I've just gone and grabbed a 
helmet. I grabbed the goofy one where you never look cool in. I'm gonna try and get a few passenger spins with people. We're in Inception right now. This is Inception. So, is this gonna be in your video? And is that gonna be in your video? That's gonna be my video. So, so should I say this will be on Drift Games that life? And you and should then yours say will be on. We're leaving a blank because I'm not sure the name yet, but we'll get to it. <laughs> Josh, come on, let's go for a spin. It's been too fing long. <laughs> I'm gonna go off like an absolute new. You know what? We're leaving the high. We're leaving the high. See you later. Okay, so you saw this car earlier. This is Johnny Irwin's car. Okay, so this is 600 horsepower, was it? 500? Uh, 500, yeah. 500 high boost. So 500 horsepower. Oh, this is the sound of the sequential. Absolutely stand there. <laughs> Screaming. I'm quite a vocal passenger, I think. <laughs> okay, so from one ridiculous car to another ridiculous car, which is Matchex. Hello. Woo. So, this is borderline top of the top, top spec. Yeah. We're going to see how this goes. And hopefully, you put semi slicks on, which probably means. Uh, try us at the minute, so we're going to do like a run in lap and then we go full steam. All right, so let's see how this goes. Let's buckle up.
intense thing. Oh my god. That's hectic. Thank you very much. Oh my god, I need I need a rest after that to calm down. This car is unbelievable. I know I've said that. <laughs> that was nice. That was very nice. Thank you. I'm glad you'll see ya. That was becking unreal. Okay, so we were gonna leave it there. But um there's one more car that I think would be nice to get past and just spin in. So yeah, but you guys have been asking for it and yeah. Could this be more ridiculous? Oh it's a all the bells and whistles in here. It's even got floor mats. Look at that. That's very fancy. Oh. Shut the door is a good thing. So what horsepower is this? Uh, 7 out of 5 at 1.2 back. Oh. spins now because this is getting out of hand. <laughs> we nearly ran out of <laughs> Oh my god. Alright guys, that is all of our footage from our Drift Games Drive Day with Club Loose. What a fun day. Weather was awesome. Cars were awesome. We hope we gave you guys a little bit of a tour around the paddock. We had a great time. We can't wait for the next one. If you want to know when our Drift Games Drive dates are on and you want to come drive in, check out our social media and we have all the dates there and on our website as well. So if you want to come and join the action, let us know. Also, quick one for you guys. Do you know an editor? We are looking for an editor here at Drift Games, a full-time editor who can edit our vlogs. We're getting a little bit overwhelmed with all of the work we're doing here and with other parts of the company. So if you want to work for Drift Games, if you're a Final Cut user, let us know. Let us know in the comments. Hit us up at hey at driftgames.life on our email if you know anybody. Other than that, guys, we are back to more builds, more cars, more crack in the next couple of episodes. We are going to be having a lot of fun with the drift cars, the road cars, and everything in between. We're going to be going to shows, car meets, everything. So subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, a lot of you guys don't. Hit that subscribe button. We're back with more action from the Drift Games vlog very soon.